On to other news now, and the Labor Party has cut ties with the state MP facing child pornography charges. The ALP state and national executives have voted to allow his suspension at the Premier's request. The MP will continue to receive his salary, but it's not clear whether he'll attend Parliament when it resumes tomorrow. Members of Labor's state executive met at party headquarters with a clear mission, to cut loose one of their own. Will the MP be asked to leave the party? Uh, look, I have no idea what's going to be going on at the meeting. If so, the Deputy Premier was the only one in any doubt. The Premier made clear on Twitter that a suspension had been on the cards since Easter. Because I think it would be inappropriate for them to be a member of the Labor caucus during the time of these legal proceedings. And so it came to pass. After a phone hook-up with the ALP's national executive, which changed internal party rules to allow the suspension while charges are still being heard. So executive has unanimously resolved that the, M that the MP's membership be suspended. Thank you very much. There were no questions taken and there was no time frame on reinstatement. Labor MPs were left walking a difficult line, balancing the legal and political imperatives. I do have sympathy for the natural justice uh, um, question, but in saying that, we're in a political environment and uh, we'll make the appropriate decisions. For now, the charged man is in political exile, no longer a party member, but still an MP. He can continue to draw his parliamentary salary, although it's still unclear whether he'll attend tomorrow's sitting. The charged MP wasn't at home today and didn't show up at a scheduled committee meeting. Have you had a request to your office for him to take leave? I haven't had any requests, no. Well, I think that's up to the MP to decide whether they feel they can um, uh, fulfil the duties of office and if they can't, then um, I think it would be appropriate to stand down or to seek leave. The suspension leaves Labor down one parliamentary vote, just another problem in an already hostile political climate. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.